Hey everyone, it's Patty. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful um, Mother's Day card. It's made with um, these these colors. We have Delightful Dijon is the flowers, the small ones. Pear Pizzazz was used on the, the greenery. And then Wisteria Wonder um, on these purple flowers, which I just love. And then I use the um, Designer Series paper for the Settles collection as um, the polka dot background and I just mounted that on a, a piece of white cardstock. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this card but in different color scheme. Um, I just wanted to show you that one. I'm going to use some of the new in colors Berry Burst and um, Lemon Lime Twist and the Berry Burst is available June and then Le Lemon Lime Twist is available with that Eastern Palace suite that's um, running through the month of May. So let me get started. Um, let me just show you what cart, what uh, stamp set I use. So I use this Jars of Love, and this has actually 37 stamps in it. I mean, it's it's got two two uh, groups of them, and um, <clears throat> I use this smaller jar this one and I've already cut that out for you and um, it comes with matching um, framelits so I cut out the jar and I cut out some of the flowers let me just get them and I'm going to show you let me just dump them here I'm going to show you <clears throat> how to stamp it's a two-step stamping, and um, I'll show you how to do it, and then I'm not going to go and, and cut them out because I think that'll just take too long. But aren't these beautiful? So this is the Berry Burst and then the Lemon Lime Twist. So let me just put these aside, and we'll take you through stamping. So we'll do the... This almost looks like a tulip to me. Uh, we'll use the Berry Burst. And I have my stamp mounted. Oh, I don't have my stamp mounted. <clears throat> Let me quickly get that going. So it's this one. You know what? I use my same. Um, I have the other ones mounted. Let me do the other ones first, and then we'll uh, we'll switch over to these. Do to do. Here's the inside to this one. So let me do the lemon lime twist since I have those mounted. Just bear with me. <clears throat> and you'll see that I've already cut cut these out. So I just wanted to show you the stamping part of it. So on the smaller ones, um, <clears throat> these, I did the inside first in the darker color. And then I stamped off and I stamped the, the background. And I found that it was easier to... Um, see where to stamp if I have the darker color on. And you'll see on the stamp there's like a little point up. So that shows you the top and the bottom. So save your scraps and you can use these <clears throat> to stamp on scrap pages, you know, p pieces of scrap. And um, I, I don't throw anything away. I pretty much always save my scraps and I always use them. So I'm going to stamp off to get this to a lighter color and then just stamp right over the flowers. Isn't that pretty? So let me just take these stamps off and I'll clean them later and we'll put the tulip looking flower on here and we'll do the the berry burst so this one i found it doesn't matter I, i'll do the the bigger outside one so play with your stamp see what works oh, let me do that again you know play with them on some scrap paper and then see what works best um, with the two-step stamps so we'll do that one is lighter and then we'll do this one straight on And you kind of match up the curve of the side. And it doesn't matter if it's exact or not. <clears throat> it all um, kind of just looks like a flower, so, so you're good. So what I did was I ran these through 
all together on the uh, the big shot. So I did, um, sorry, this is upside down. So I ran these through the big shot, this one, and then this one, and it's nice that this one comes with the, with the two. And then I ran these um, leaves. So I would just put them right in the big shot and run them through together so you only have to do one pass and get all of these. I hope that makes sense. Um, so now I have all my flowers and I have my um, <clears throat> jar. And I want to put the water in the jar. So I'm going to do uh, a blue. And uh, again, I'm going to stamp off and then um, make it a lighter color. Let me get these closed up. Okay. So I'm using Marina Mist on this one. And in the stamp set, you'll see that there's this solid, like, water-looking thing. Let me just get that mounted. <clears throat> I pop that red a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> So this one, I'm going to really stamp it good. The solid stamps, you really have to make sure they're covered good. And then I'm going to stamp it. And then stamp all the way down at the bottom. So it gives it that um, lighter look. You really get a lot more um, use out of your stamps if you do that stamp off. You get really two different colors. So now I'm going to uh, use pear pizzazz and I'm going to stamp some of these stems. So we'll just kind of do three of them. And you can actually stamp this right on the card itself if you wanted to, if you weren't um, doing a cutout of the, the mason jar. Okay, so then we're going to use um, a piece of cardstock. This is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And I'm going to just <clears throat> adhere this with my snail. I'm going to put this right down toward the bottom and a little bit over to the left because we have that sentiment up on the right at the top. And then you just want to um, lay your I actually should have left this up. Oops. Well, I could just cut it. Let me just find my scissors. I should have laid that down be behind the mason jar, but that's okay. We'll just put it here, and it'll be covered up anyway. And kind of lay how you want your flowers. Um, some of them I put down flat and some of them I have um, on glue dots and just kind of figure out where you want to put things. And it's okay if it goes off of this white. So I'm going to get started, I think, putting some of these down, and then we'll just add to them. <clears throat> so let's see. On this one, I'm going to put some of this glue down, the Tombow glue. I love this Berry Burst color and the Lemon Lime Twist. It's really a nice combination. Um, let me 
just I'm gonna kind of come up over here it'll be hidden by flowers and then on some of these I'm gonna just put glue dots just easier um, so you just press down pick up a glue dot put it down and keep going I know some people line up everything on on the glue dot strip they just kind of line them around <clears throat> you get a smaller one of these and just kind of figure out where you want to put everything I think I'm going to put one up here as part of that uh, let me get one of the very burst And you really just want to fill in some of the places, spaces. So I hope everybody's um, getting prepared for Mother's Day. It'll be here before you know it. I'll be with my kids on Mother's Day, which will be really nice. They don't live near me, so... <clears throat> It's nice to have some family time. Oops. Put that under there. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. As you can see, I'm just kind of putting things here and there. And let's get some of these popped up. So I'll use some dimensionals on these. that one up there. I'll put another one. And you don't have to use them all and if you wanted to get some more you could make more. Uh, I'm going to do one more kind of right in the center. And I'll do another green right back here. Kind of covered that green stem, but that's okay. Nobody will know except for you guys watching this. And I'm going to just pop up this last one on a dimensional. And you can cut these dimensionals. I mean, it fits on this, but it's pretty, pretty tiny. Just pop that up there. So there you have it. Uh, then the next thing I did was I tied a, a bow and I'm using this linen thread. It comes like this. I find that um, it's got these kind of folds in it. So what I do is kind of what you do with ribbon, just kind of pull it. I wouldn't do it with the open scissors because it might cut it, but closing them. And then just do a little bow. I hate making bows on camera, but I think a lot of people have trouble with bows. I'm in good company, I would think. So that looks pretty good. Let me just snip some of the bottom, make it more even. And I'm going to attach this again with a glue dot. And I just kind of get one on my finger, because this is kind of tiny, and stick it on, kind of roll it up stick it on and then we can put it right here so I think that's kind of pretty and then I'm going to attach this to um, I'm not going to use any designer series paper like I did here I'm going to just put it right on here oh and let me put the um, 
the sentiment. Now, the sentiment I got from the um, succulent. Um, <clears throat> this is it. Oh, so succulent has a Happy Mother's Day. I don't have very many Happy Mother's Day um, sentiments, so I keep going back to this one. Let me just put that on. And I think I'll do this in the Berry Burst color. And I probably should have done this first, just in case I mess it up. So I am going to stamp, make sure it looks good. I like to make sure I have things stamped on in case you make a mistake you don't want to ruin this whole card but there's always ways of um, fixing things it's amazing what a little bit of uh, additional cardstock or um, embellishments will do so I will put this right on here let me just get some snail Attach that <clears throat> right in the middle here. Try to center it. Oops. Okay. So there you have it. Which one do you like better? I mean, I love, I love the uh, wisteria wonder here, and then the uh, berry burst here. I think they're both really beautiful, and I uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.